Hello, welcome to Enology Studies channel. Today we are going to decipher the number in the label of Penfolds wines. The first name that comes to mind when using of Australian wine is Penfolds. High quality and outstanding products. They are the flag of the Australian wines. However, there is a problem that concerns all of us. It's Penfolds numbers. What are those numbers on the label? Which is the best number for us? Let's first figure it out the word being in the labels. Being is used on many Australian wines, but the term originally refers to the compartments, the batch identification number, where wineries keep the wine. For instance, being one, being two, etc., depending on where they sat in the winery. The being number has nothing to do with the quality of the wine or the price. Let's check some wines. Being 95. The most celebrated wine and is officially listed as an heritage icon of South Australia. Being 95, or better known as Grunge. The wine always a multi regional blend from Barossa Valley, McLaren Valley, Eden Valley, etc. Always working with a high percentage of Shiraz grapes and very often with a touch of Cabernet, usually less than 8%. Being 389. Being 389 is the second most cellar wine in Australia, behind Penfolds Crunch. Being 389 is also known as Baby Crunch. The wines are mature in the same barrels of American oak that held the previous vintage of Crunch. Peter Gago, the winemaker, combined the structure of Cabernet Sauvignon with the richness of Chiraz to create this superb wine. Being 707. Being 707, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon mirror of Grunge, intensely flavored, completion of fermentation and maturation in new oak, expressing a painful understanding of multi vineyard, multi region fruit sourcing. Being 60A, the Australian critic James Halliday said about being 60A, it is the greatest red wine ever made. Painful being 60A Conowara Cabernet is a wonderful Australian wine only produced in greatest vintage, like a 1962, using select grapes from Kunawara, Kununga Hills, and Calibna Vineyard, Barossa. The blend unites the cool climate Cabernet Sauvignon of Penfolds, Chatham's Block, and Block 20 in Kunawara, with a far warmer Calibna Vineyard Shiraz from Western Barossa, which has long been an important component of ranch. The last release was vintage 2004. So check it out on next vintage. Being 128. Being 128 is only fruit from the unique Terra Rosa soils of Kunawara. Penfolds being 128 is a regional wine that reflects the unique climates and growing condition of South Australia Kunawara and the relatively elegant style of cool climate Chiraz, aged in French oak and cellar for three years before release. Being 150. Penfolds being 150 Maranga Churras is a definitive example of great Barossa Churras. Praised by wine reviewers James Halliday and the master of wine Andrew Kellard, like a superb and concentrate, impenetrable color, purple hue, dark and brooding personality. Conceived from the Asian soils of Maranga, which lie in a very close to the center of Barossa Valley floor where warm, dry conditions and rich red soils provide a backbone to some of the region's best nose wines. The last vintage is 2014. And now, last but not least wine of this review, Bean 407. Bean 407 is also known as a baby Bean 707. Bean 407 is inspired by his older brother, Bean 707, not only offering varietal definition, but also approachability structure and deep of flavor. Cabernet Sauvignon, the varietal expressive being 407 highlight the rewards of painful multi-region multi-vineyard blending with a core of ripe fruit supported by sensitive use of French and American oak. Well this is all, thank you very much, stay tuned.